So in partnership with Professional Pensions, you've just released your first article of AE Watch on auto-enrolment defaults. Could you tell us a bit about what led to the development of this article? Yeah, of course. Um, actually, this is a continuation of the work we've been doing in this space for the last five years since the introduction of auto-enrollment. So first, we've looked at the performance of auto-enrollment uh, default funds in the UK for the three anniversary of AE. Then we re-run our research for the five-year anniversary of auto-enrollment. And now we're doing even more by partnering with professional pensions to bring our findings and our research to, to the whole of market to help shine the light onto what's happening with the major DC providers and master trusts in the UK. And could you tell us a bit about what that research covers? Uh, yeah, so for this particular edition, we've concentrated on the growth stage of the major autonomy providers. So they, uh, they are the biggest master trusts and the biggest GPP schemes in the country. And we're looking at the growth stage of the defaults because it's the probably one of the most important stages uh, in the savers journey throughout their life. They will be saving in the growth stage of these defaults over many, many years, decades even, up to the age 55 or possibly later. So it's very important to make sure we get this stage right. And could you tell us a bit about what you found in your research? Uh, yeah, actually the findings were quite astonishing. What we've seen is a big discrepancy between the performance of those largest defaults and you'd think they have the same universe of uh, members to work with. They're all trying to come up with the best solution of uh, how to save within DC environment for millions of UK savers. However, they're coming up with really different answers to the same problem. Some of them take on a lot of risk, some of them don't take or hardly any risk and then the performance as a result as well is really different so to the point that we have uh, some of the funds uh, delivering double of, um, of the results of other funds so what that highlights is how important it is to make sure we understand the choices that we make when we select uh, an auto enrollment scheme so employers trustees you know and uh, other people responsible for these decisions they really need to understand exactly what it is they're buying as not all of these funds are the same. And as well as risk and return metrics, is there anything else that um, people should look at when looking at growth defaults? There's lots of other things you can look uh, into as well, just to kind of try and look um, under the hood a bit, you know, and just um, understand a bit more about how these strategies are performing. So one of the things we'll look at, for example, is maximum drawdown measure. So that tells us about um, how stable the return pattern is of these default funds, which could be very important, particularly if you have a more mature pension plan, so that stability becomes more important. Uh, we also looked at the um, size of equity content in the investment strategies because normally you would expect a high equity allocation in the bull market to deliver better results however interestingly what we found is it's not always the case and some of those funds have taken on quite a lot of equity risk which didn't pay off for them so it's positive to see that a significant part of the market provides transparent enough data to use in your research do you envisage that um, the market will become more transparent coming forward I really hope so so what we're doing at the moment, we're using the data from third-party providers or from sources uh, where the data is readily available. So that means we can only look at those default funds that are not afraid of uh, opening up their performance results to the market. But we should do a lot more around that and more providers should be more forthcoming in terms of showing everyone what they have done. And uh, this will lead to more transparency in the market, to employers and trustees making more informed decisions for the benefit of the ultimate beneficiaries which are the DC members. Mm -hmm.